What's good, y'all? Shout out to notification game for hitting the like button. And if it didn't start yet, y'all are really wanting it. I appreciate you anyway. There is nothing attractive about dust mites. Let's let's get into it, y'all. Let's see what she got to say. There is nothing attractive about a hood tyrant. Let me say it again. There is absolutely nothing attractive about a hood tyrant. Girls, I want the best for black women. I really do. But it's really hard because women in our community are attracted to a certain type of man because that is what they deem as masculine or hyper-masculine. Basically, if you're not riding around with a Glock on your hip, <laughs> if you're not walking around with your pants sagging to your ankles, if you don't have several baby mamas and you're a lame, it's very disappointing because I feel like I'm seeing more pregnancy announcements, no weddings, at least here in America. The reason that's why a lot of black women in America are accepting the bare minimum and accepting poor treatment is because they are attracted to a certain kind of man. And honestly, let me be real with you girls. At one point in my life, I'm really embarrassed to say this, I used to be attracted to Glocktaviuses, hood tyrants, dust mites, whatever. I, I used to be attracted to them. I used to. Seriously, mind you, I have never lived in the hood in my entire life. My parents are immigrants that came here and put me and my siblings in amazing neighborhoods. I live in the suburbs, and yet I was still attracted to hood tyrants. So it's yeah, so that that's I'm I'm so confused right now. So that that's part of the problem. That that doesn't help your argument. I'm not saying that she's wrong because I haven't really heard. I heard a little bits and pieces that was kind of like, bro, what? But she's not entirely wrong. I, I think she's pretty accurate. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm confused. So you are part of the problem then. May, may, I'm, maybe I'm tripping, but you, you're part of the problem. You're part of the issue. Never been to the hood, never lived in the hood. You're, to make it worse, you're 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 an immigrant that came outside of the country that came here, and the, your parents put you straight in the suburbs, and you're still and you still ran to Pookie and Ray Ray. What is happening here? So let's let let's backtrack, man. Let, let let's go back, I, you know. <laughs> uh, let's backtrack. Uh, she spoke she spoke about a few things, right? And again, I'm, I'm not disagreeing with her. I'm actually agreeing with her. She said, black women will look at a man as lame if he doesn't have baby mama problems, if he's not running around here arrested every day, walking around selling drugs with a gun on his hip, gang banging, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, I agree with her 100%. I agree with her 100%. There was women that I was, black women, that I was talking to or trying to talk to that did not give me the time, or would not give me, I should say, uh, would not give me the time of the day because I was enrolled in college. I was 19, 20 years old, talking to a chick who was like 20, 20, 22, something like that, whatever. Um, 22 years old, 20 years old, or whatever. And she would look at me like, I'm like, I'm crazy. Like, Boy, you in college? I'm like, yeah. She's like, that's why I see you with a book back every day? Bro, yes, I'm kept back then I have, a, I have a car. Yeah, I'm catching a goddamn city bus to and from my college campus, what's, what's the problem? Like, what's the issue? She looked at me like I was damn crazy. Mind you, this same woman ran on to have two kids by two different dudes. Now she's trash at life. All in my DMs talking about, oh, damn, what's up? When can I, when can I see you? Bro, you can never see me, man. You done gained about 130 pounds. I'm good on all that. What, what, where your pookie at? Where your Ray Ray at? Locked up again? It's too bad. It's too bad. I didn't hear anything that she said incorrect as of yet. I didn't. They are attracted to, quote unquote, to the dust mites, to the Pookies, to the Ray Rays, to the Daquans. It's only until after they become a single mother, after, become, after they've gained all this weight, after they hit the wall. 
fellas. That's when they start looking for us. That's when they start looking for Russell Wilson. If Russell Wilson would have shot his shot at Sierra prior to her being with Future, prior to her being, you know what I'm saying, popping coochie on the goddamn windshield, do you think that Russell Wilson would have had a chance with her? Be honest. Be honest. Sierra lucked out and hit the lotto, bro. I never came out here and said, yo, if you were a single mom, da, 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 you have no chance. I never said that. I said the chances of that drops significantly. That's what I said. And I'm going to stand behind that because it's the goddamn truth. And that's the reason why a lot of women constantly, constantly throw out Sierra. Oh, but look at Sierra. Bro, do you look as good as Sierra? No. <laughs> Are you Sierra? No. I say this all the damn time, and I'm ha I'm happy that a black woman is coming out here to say the same thing. Again, I haven't heard anything she said incorrect as of yet. Let's keep going. It's not even a certain kind of girl that's attracted to them. It really could be anyone. And honestly, the reason as to why I was attracted to those type of men is because I was consuming a lot of hood Hollywood content. I was following a lot of IG baddies. I was following a lot of rapper baby mamas. I was consuming that content and because those women were attracted to those kind of men, I thought that that was like the it thing. I had a thing for them for maybe about a year or two and then it was over with. And it's just because I realized that they're not going to cause any good in your life if you want to be married, if you want to be a wife, if you want to be taken care of. Yeah, like those types of men are not going to do it for you translation ladies uh more more importantly fellas translations fellas um basically what she meant by that was she was laying on her back with a bunch of pookies and ray rays and got fed up with it this fed up could mean maybe she got pregnant and went through an abortion or maybe she had the baby who knows because i have no idea who this woman is Maybe she caught some type of STD. Maybe she just maybe she just got fed up with them. But regardless, she was laying with pookies and red. You lay down with dogs, you're going to catch fleas. I say this all the time, y'all boys. I don't want any woman that was previously with any rapper or anything like that. Because you know, nine times out of ten, they 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 they, they let him hit raw. Uh, any rapper, any pro athlete, basketball, football, hockey. I don't give a damn. A soccer. I don't care. Um, anything like that. If I have anything to do with it, and if I know about it ahead of time, if I'm avoiding it, because I don't want anything that some sloppy seconds would want. I got homeboys, and I I, I love them boys to death of me. Them, them them my homies. I knew them boys. Some of them since elementary, some of them since middle school. Um, but I knew them boys for for ten years, twenty years. They my homies, and I love them to the death of me. But I got homeboys. If I know around the county that a girl slept with my homeboy, I'm good because I know how my homeboys move. They hand any and everything with no rubbers. I'm like, no, I'm good on all that. I'm, I don't, I'm. Oh, but me and him, we we were just messing around a little bit. I'm good, ma'am. I don't even want you touching me. I don't want you putting your lips on me. I don't want any of that. Cause I know how they move, and rappers are just like them, just on a amplified level. <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's what I got from that when she said that. Oh, I don't do it. I used to do it, but I don't do it anymore. Oh, well, the reasons why, you know, try, trying to justify I'm like, bro, that doesn't justify anything. You're making it worse. Oh, the reason why I did it is because I followed the content I watch. I followed the the baby mamas to, to the to the rappers. Why are you following them? I've never followed any of them. What can I what can I get? I wouldn't have never known who these chicks is if it wasn't for y'all, if it was for you two. Christian Rock. Uh, what what's the other girl? I can't I can't even I don't even remember their names. I don't did videos on them. I don't even remember their names. I would not know who any of them is because I just don't give a damn. You're famous because of what you laid on your back and let a damn rapper busting you. That's what you famous about. Now you got a million followers for what is that? Let's be real. You are part of the problem. You're, you're tired of this video. There's nothing attractive about Dusties. But then you was with these damn Dusties. So apparently there is something for you to be attracted about. Now you don't, you know, again, no disrespect, but now you, 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 you're you at that point where you're not as young as you used to be. You're not as slim or as fit as you used to be because, I mean, I can look at her and tell she, she's on a bigger side. And that's fine. She's still cute. But that's the problem. 
That is the problem. A lot of the times, women, you are wasting your youth being with these pookies and ray rays because of, oh, they look good on movies because, you know, our, our, the lifestyle of these baby mamas and all this other dumb ass stuff. It's crazy to me. Maybe I'll think differently, man. I don't know, man. I will try to comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. Until next time, please, man. Y'all be safe for